Hey, welcome to Perry Review. My name is Perry. This is my wife, Sintu. So we today... We a different intro. Like, we do... <laughs> like, you always do that. We always do. But then we... I we, know, but then you want to switch it up, and now it's, like, back to the same boring... It's... Hi, it's, guys. Uh, this it's... Is, this is Perry. This is my wife, Sintu. Come uh, on. How about this? Next episode, you introduce us, okay? So we no, change it up. Yeah. Come on. You gotta be creative. You're a YouTuber. <laughs> Every time I change it, we're like, really? Is that the one you're doing now kind of thing? That's the whole point. I gotta make you look stupid. It's part uh, of being a wife. Trust me, you don't have to try. It, it just happens. No, you're not <laughs> stupid. Don't worry, I'm not going to mess your <laughs> hair. Jesus Christ, Perry. Okay. Anyways, we are today we are watching Season 5, Episode 5 of BoJack Horseman. On the last episode, um, uh, what's it? Uh, BoJack... Um, got that new co-star to be on his show but that guy had a long history of being a sexist anti-semitic person who's just been an all-around douchebag um he's a reflect he's kind of like a parody of uh, movie stars in real life and hollywood movie stars like mel gibson and all these other people um and in the part of that episode was trying to uh, redeem him and make him a better person and stuff and even uh, what's his name uh, bojack's ex the publicist lady she was defending him to be his uh you know, publicist to make him be look better and stuff. But Diane was trying to work on the show as a consultant for uh, female characters and stuff. And she was being mistreated by the producer guy, the story creator. Mm -hmm. And um, she was talking, she was saying how, like, you know, you're trying to, like, defend this person and try to make him better. But if he's repeatedly doing all these horrible things again and again and again, it's you know we're kind of just enabling you know just letting him come back and doing the mm -hmm. same thing over again but then at the end of the episode um the public six x she showed Bo uh, diane the audio recording of bojack yes and that's when it stopped and that's where it stopped it was a huge cliffhanger so i want to see what I happens with how diane's gonna take you know take in this news so enough talk here we go it's because your princess carolyn belongs in the air it's true. That is my name. So that must have been her childhood home. Living, uh... Hello? How the hell do they expect me to learn five pages of dialogue in one day? What am I, young Sheldon? Bojack. No show should have that much talking. <laughs> anyway, where the hell are you? Eden, North Carolina. Ugh, North Carolina? It's like the second worst of the Carolinas. You know I'm from here, right? What are you doing there, anyway? Just taking care of some family stuff. Oh. Who's that? I think she might be, um... I don't know who she is, but I'm thinking because she's pregnant, she might be being like um, adopting her child, maybe. Uh, but I guess, oh, right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. So I think Diane's, you know, that cliffhanger from last episode is what it probably won't be dealt with this episode, maybe. But um, what's it? Um, because it seems like a very uh, Princess Carolyn episode, but who knows? Maybe the side episode could be the Carolyn, uh, Diane and Bojack, but we'll see. I'm 18, I got my whole life ahead of me, and it's not like my boyfriend's begging me to marry him. Boyfriends rarely do. His name's Strip, short for Dennis. Uh, sure. He's not exactly okay. a romantic type. If you want him to like your idea, just convince him he thought of it himself. Hmm. You really think he'll do it just because I say it's his idea? That's a great idea, Diane. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So sorry. See how you... Yeah. Wow. You know what they say. You can take the girl out of the Greensboro High Point metropolitan area, but you can't take the Greensboro High Point metropolitan area out of the girl. <laughs> okay. I wish my boyfriend would have taken his penis out of the girl. Oh, Meaning yeah. I wish he would have pulled out. Yeah, no, I got it. I figured I should just double check that it's definitely okay if I change every single word. Yeah. Oh Knowing my flip, God. I would just stick to the script. So don't flip the script? Exactly. Don't flip, flip script. That's a double flip. So you're saying I should flip. I thought you always answered your phone day or night. Right. <laughs> Hello? So I just got the phone to flip. He's really excited about this new motorcycle son he came up with. He wants to do it tomorrow. Right, That's Flip, full yeah. of ideas, gotta go. Do you think Lake Erie ever gets jealous of Lake Superior? Or is it like proud to be the Erie one? Oh We've my been God. through this, Todd. Lakes don't have emotions. What about Ricky Lake? As I was saying, <laughs> I'd love to spend more time together Good if you're Todd. up for it. But if you can stay another day, that would be awesome. Maybe only if you can. I know you're busy. I don't want me or my baby to get in the way of your career. Oh my god. Sadie, I'll be there. After, you know, she put away, she put aside family for her career for all these years. Put in my credit card info. I'll text you a picture. Oh no. Okay, did you get it? Check your work email. Okay, click accept. Now forward me the confirmation. 
Thank you, Stuart. I don't know what I'd do without you. <sighs> she needs Jonah back. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, sorry. That's okay. Sorry. I, I... <laughs> What's gonna happen with the parents? Is there a camera? I don't know. I think I don't know what's going on. Mom, let me tell you something. Life is a big old roulette wheel. Everyone's got oh, a look number. The some are winners, too. some aren't. It mean, all depends. That's when I was like, oh, it's mm. the whole land. I need you to intervene and forbid me from doing my own stunts, even though I really want to, because I actually don't want to, because that would require me to be in good physical shape, which we both know I'm not, and also not a coward, which we both know I am. Bojack, girl, you do not want to be pregnant. <laughs> Oh. oh, what am I gonna do? My life's over. It's been in our family for generations. It's from the old country. And when you wear this, I want you to remember that you come from a long line of women who've taken our licks, but we always land on our feet. Mm. Don't we? It may not have like actual value, but it does definitely a sentimental value. And finally, the cousins. I slept with all of them. Wow. I'm just kidding. I'm from North Carolina, not Tennessee. Oh, oh, God. God. Hey, you like ambrosia since everyone brought the exact same dish? My dad's ready to see you. <sighs> we better not. Oh, my God. Really? We'll go to Hilton Head every summer and take a photo of all of us on the beach wearing khaki and white. Mm. And this will be our Christmas card. Inside, it'll say, Mary, Mary, a it's season's not the life greeting she wanted, so it's not to alienate our friends of other faiths, but we'll know it's Christmas. Long as people need answering machine tapes, you will be taken care of. Uh -oh. Sound good? Yes. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Wait for the beep. Sound good? Beep. Yes, sir. Why did you let him do his own stunts? That was today? Of course it was today. I put a sticky on your day page at our sister's site. What date is it right now? <laughs> oh, do you even really? check your day page? Come on. I love you or whatever. Go to him, Sadie. Whatever. Really? You. Don't listen to her, Sadie. She lives in a pontoon boat. Y'all could be begging for a ride when the flood comes. Oh, oh man. Ow. Oh, my God. Miscarriages don't just happen. This was our ticket. That baby would have changed everything for us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think I'm stupid, but I've been watching you bullshit everyone on that phone of yours. I want to give your baby a better life. Better than what? Better than a sky full of stars? You want to give the baby to someone else? Fine. Just do what you want to do. Don't live your life for Strib or this baby or anybody else. I know that. She's going to keep looking. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the hardest part of my job. I have to lie to the clients and tell them it's not their fault. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, it's not your fault. Oh, hey, I got a nutty idea. What if you deferred for a year? Mom, I, I, I can't do that. Of course you could. I gotta go. Please? Aww. Can't you just do this one thing for me? I'm sorry, Mom. Feel bad, but also you know she needed to go. I could have never left my mom if she begged me like that. That's the thing, you know. Like oh, God. this is a really, this is one of those episodes. Obviously, a Princess Carolyn episode, especially after last season. Um, you know, you would think that eventually she'll find her happiness and all that stuff like that. But you know, it's not something that just gets given to you one day. You got to fight for it. And um, this is something that Princess Carolyn had to, has been fighting for for years. Like looks like her entire life, she's been trying to get out and do her own thing. Like when when what's it um the um, the parents of the owner of the house, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, of the guy, of her boyfriend, mm -hmm. and he was telling her how her life is going to be and stuff. She was smiling, and then also you can tell that she's nervous and sad and stuff because. That's not what she expected. Yeah, her like, to, she's, yeah. they're just giving her life and telling her what to do, and she's not making any choice of the matter. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing is her mom. Her mom was telling her to not leave, and what do you mean you're going to go to university and all that stuff, right? You're going to stay here, and, you know, you're not going to do any better and stuff. But then, you know, thankfully, you know, her mom came around and told her that she does have an option. You okay? Just banged my pinky oh. toe on, on the table. It's okay, it happens. <laughs> Sorry, you're like in the middle of like <laughs> such an emotional. It's okay. <laughs> um, what was I? Yeah, well. yeah, but um, she came to her sense at the end. But also because she's the only child that was left to stay by her, 
Um, she, didn't want her to leave. she didn't want her to leave, yeah. and I felt bad because obviously, from the mom's perspective, letting your final you know child leave the nest, you go back to to an empty nest, and what do you have left, right? Like the dad's not there, and she's just there by herself, and she's gonna drink away by herself on that couch and stuff, which is really sad. So I can see from the mom's perspective why she doesn't want Princess Carolyn to leave, but. From Princess Carolyn's perspective, she needs to start her life and go out there and earn something and do something with her life, yes. right? But um, at the end, you know, she didn't get that uh, that girl's baby. But I know it's not the end. Like this is only we're only half, roughly, almost halfway to the season. Mm -hmm. I hope that by the end of this season, she'll have some good news. Um, what are what did her mom say? Like the the ladies in Chris, Princess Carolyn's family, they all. Go through hell and they land on, uh, and they all eventually, and they eventually land on their feet, right? Uh, even though they go through a lots of that's hell. That's true. And that's honestly, that's most women. You know, I you feel can, like, yeah. Go on, sorry. It's. I feel like that's most women. Like we go through a lot of shit, but we always know. Mm -hmm. Like you know, we always land on our feet. Yeah. We figure it out. Yeah. And I really admire Princess Carolyn as a character. She's such a strong person who, we've seen her go through so much adversity through the show right like so much trials and tribulations and stuff like that but she always tries to power through stay strong and when you, we do see her being her fragile self she does it in private where no one gets to see her cry or anything like that mm -hmm. and she's such a strong character and i really applaud the care the creators of the show and the writers for making such an amazing character who we really want to root for all of these characters we really want to root for and now by the fifth season we're so into their lives that you know, like I said it before, like we weep when they weep, we cry, cheer when they cheer yeah. and stuff. And I'm so really wish that Princess Carolyn gets the happiness that she gets at the so end. Too, yeah. And um, but yeah, and I was kind of I thought that Diane was going to confront Bojack. Yeah, but me too. But I, guess, I guess this is like you said, is a more Prince of Caroline. Prince of Caroline episode and yeah. stuff. And they want to deal with that in her past and stuff like that. Yeah. But like I said, there's a. I think maybe that's next why episode. the next one, everyone's like. It's yeah, like everybody says episode, to watch yeah right? free churro so. or if I'm not mistaken. That's the big one Ooh. people are saying to watch. So I can't wait to see that one next. But I'm curious to see where all this kind of because we're only halfway through the season. Mm -hmm. There is plenty of opportunities for the story to progress, and then maybe it happens later on in the season. So we'll see. But we're gonna stop here. I hope you guys liked our reaction to this episode. It was a really great episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting more episodes of Bojack Horseman. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.